Welcome to Real Freedom Productions Underwater Top 10 series and today we'll be counting down the top 10 rays of the Andaman Sea. For this list we've classified all the species from 10 down to 1 based on their size, unique shape and how rare it is to encounter each one. In at number 10 is the Jenkins Whip Ray. Though not all rays on this list possess a poisonous sting, this species has two venomous spines at the back of its tail. The name whip ray comes from the animal's ability to whip its poisonous tail as a defense mechanism to protect itself from predators. The torpedo ray, also known as an electric ray, is our choice for number 9. They are slow-moving bottom dwellers that are not poisonous, but instead generate electricity as a defense mechanism. The name is derived from the Latin word meaning numb or paralyzed, presumably the sensation one would feel after experiencing the ray's electric shock. In at number 8 is the porcupine ray. Despite its classification as a stingray, the porcupine ray lacks a venomous stinging spine. However, an adult can still defend itself with the multiple thorns found on its tail, hence the name porcupine ray. Number seven is the beautiful white spotted eagle ray, the first of two eagle ray species on this list. It can be easily identified by its dark dorsal covered in white spots or rings. The name comes from this ray's pointed beak-like snout, and a little known fact, near the base of the ray's relatively long tail are several venomous barbed stingers. Seldom seen in the Andaman, more common to Australian waters is our number six, the bull ray. Easily recognized by its monotone, dark dorsal, this rare infamous species is the ray that claimed the life of the crocodile hunter Steve Owen. It should be noted, although they are poisonous, they are not aggressive, and what happened with Steve Irwin was nothing more than a tragic accident. Also known as a round ribbon tail, or a marble ray, the large blotched fantail ray makes the list at number 5. Recognized by its distinctive light and dark mottled pattern and black tail, which has a venomous spine, these rays are most impressive when they gather in large numbers in a type of underwater orgy. In at number four is the mobula ray. There are 10 different species of mobula, which are collectively known as devil rays. They are non-venomous and most mobula have a propensity for schooling in large numbers and sometimes even breaching in spectacular manner at various locales around the world. Is it a shark? Is it a ray? It's our number three, the shovel-nosed guitar fish. They have a body from intermediate between those of sharks and rays. The tail has a typical shark-like form, but in many species, the head has a triangular or guitar-like shape rather than the disc shape formed by fusion with the pectoral fins found in other rays. By far the rarest species on this list, with only two first-hand sightings in nine years, our number two is the ornate eagle ray. It has a clearly distinct pattern of reticulate dark lines and rings on its back, and unlike its relative, the white spotted eagle ray which we saw earlier, it is non-venomous with no spine on its tail. Was there ever any doubt? At up to 25 feet in length and weighing over 3,000 pounds, the manta ray is our number one pick. Old maritime stories made it out to be a monster. The modern day Air Force designed the stealth bomber based on the manta's appearance. An encounter with these gentle giants is a life-changing experience you will never forget. And as such, the manta ray is our number one pick for this list. Do you agree with our list? What is your favorite ray? And what species have you seen that were not on the list? Share your thoughts and dive stories in the comments below. And for more underwater top 10s and remarkable rays, be sure to subscribe to Real Freedom Productions.